Hi guys, I did some shopping. I got some little snowflake earrings and I got, oops, what's the baby doing? <laughs> Taking all the batteries out of the cupboard, yay. <laughs> okay. But um, I got this little thingy and I got this little earrings and I'm wearing this Christmas shirt. It's not Christmas yet, but I was just trying them all. As you can see, I'm not in Christmas mode yet if my nails are still hot pink from the summer, but I wanted to jump on here and make a day two video. So today's water fasting day two. Got up this morning, did my cycling. We did 30, well, I did 35 minutes, but we, because the baby was sitting on the handlebar. So 35 minutes of low impact cycling today, nothing crazy. Drank a lot of water so far. Um, what else? Yeah, just showered, got ready, feeling good. I always forget how good the fasting makes you feel. It's only day two. And I already feel super productive. I woke up, I broomed the whole house, vacuumed the whole house. I'm gonna go like organize everything, do some deep cleaning. Every time I come on these videos, I'm always organizing and it really makes sense because suddenly you feel this like surge of energy and you become more productive. And it's like, why do we forget this? Why do we forget this? Why do we eat so much? Because when we don't eat, we feel so productive and we feel so good. Oh, you hungry? Okay, here. You can eat, but I'm not gonna eat, okay? Yeah, go little monkey. Hold on. She's bringing her snacks to me. And I cannot take it out with one finger. Here. Yeah, you just, oopsies. Okay. So, why do we forget how good we feel when we fast? It's like everything in the world is against us. Everything is telling us, oh, you shouldn't fast. It's dangerous. It's this and that. But the proof is in the fasting pudding. <laughs> okay, the proof is in the pudding, even though we don't eat pudding around here right now. So it's so obvious when you're fasting, you feel good. So whatever people say, whatever the naysayers say, whatever people say when they, they say we're crazy, like, oh, how do I describe it unless they try it for themselves? You know that thing they say, don't knock it till you try it. It just feels so good. I always forget how good I feel when I fast and we need to remember this because that's the high we're gonna ride on for the next few days. I don't know how many days, but we'll see. So if you're here with me, we're on day two. Do your workout. Just do something, you know. I always say don't work out during the fast, but just get outside, get some fresh air, do a walk, you know, do some meditation, play something nice, play a nice podcast if you're hungry. Okay, just go on Spotify and find some like David Goggins or find somebody to yell at you or play my old videos in the playlist, anything you want. Check in down below. Let me know how you're doing. But day two for me right now, we're going strong. When you have your why that is solid, like I said yesterday, when your why is solid, fasting becomes easy because it's like non-negotiable, you know? You know why you're fasting, you're fasting and there's no excuses and it's non-negotiable because it's so strong and so solid in your brain that a bite of food will not satisfy the urges that fasting will satisfy when you get to your results, right? So that's how we're feeling right now. Okay, hold on.